night. It's a fine, windy day in the end times here on this gorgeous Monday, May 22nd, 2017. So we're coming up on some of this sustainable windmill energy. So what I think we're coming up on is one windmill blade. It's either the blade or it's the motor. Let's see. So every one of these motherfuckers, every single windmill blade uh, needs to be delivered from wherever the fuck these things are made. I have no fucking clue. So each one of these windmill blades has, has what? Has, has three or four of these motherfuckers. Every single, this is, says Florida hauling. For all I know, this goddamn thing has come from Florida to uh, New Mexico. They have to have one of these giant Trail King extended oversized load. Uh, 18 wheelers and then uh, after that they need to have the, you know, the little guide car uh, so every single windmill as far as I know requires a minimum of four 18 wheelers you don't even count the amount of shit uh, from the planet going into each windmill uh, probably the same amount of resources, I'm guessing, that goes into building 20 or 30 cars, goes into every single windmill. So that shit coming in from all over the goddamn planet uh, to wherever the factory is. And as I said, this, these, oh, they, they need a, they need a pilot car in front and behind. So you've got the 18-wheeler and two pilot cars, uh, which, of course, the pilot car appears to be an SUV. Uh, there you go. Uh, so we've got two SUVs and a giant, and a giant 18-wheeler uh, to move one fucking windmill blade from uh, East Bumblefuck to West Bumblefuck and every Bumblefuck in between. You multiply that times as many of these goddamn windmills as these fucking little limp dick mainstream environmentalists uh, cheering on uh, with their heads up their fucking asses. And then of course, then you gotta get the fucking power back from the windmill back into the grid uh, what was the latest? Uh, 7,000 miles of these high transmission power lines, which of course are made of copper. So, if you don't understand, I was just reading an article about copper mining. Uh, what was the quote from this uh, peasant woman that living next to this copper mine? This is a death sentence for me and my family. And you multiply this up to scale. Uh, of course, these leptic mainstream environmentalists have never heard, never considered the concept of scale. Ramping up to scale, thinking for one goddamn minute we're going to replace these fucking fossil fuels with uh, with this goddamn wind power. And, uh, well, I was going to bring you a redux on my Welcome to Hell veal farm, which is right down here. It looks like, I know it looks like Ireland here in the middle of the desert. Uh, and there's the veal farm. But the wind is blowing as hard today as it was when I was through here last week. So I guess there will be no Welcome to Hell Redux. Anyway guys, smoke them if you got them. I wonder where the rest of this uh, windmill is. Where the fuck is this thing going? Uh, it must be going up there to Wyoming maybe? Where the hell is this thing going? 
You see a bunch of them coming through here. Oh boy, I gotta get my goddamn uh, harvest, sustainably harvested deck board from Oregon that got here on his own 18 wheeler, making my 200 mile round trip in a gas sucking car to pick up a step for a sustainably harvested deck board from Oregon while I'm driving through the fucking Amazon jungle in the middle of a goddamn desert. Uh, oh yeah, That's, those are sustainable pecans. And, and don't get me wrong, I've got a fucking uh, cup full of these pecans sitting on the coffee table and these bumblefuck. Every one of these pecans, 100% dependent. 100% dependent on irrigation from the Rio Grande River. Alright, we're entering a high activity deer crossing area, so I'd better put up the social media and get back to my driving, my gas sucking truck. Hi guys.